am critical care medicine specialist i am the chief of critical care medicine at kagler hospitals i have done my basic md and thereafter i have completed my fellowship in critical care medicine and post that i have trained for fellowship in extracorporeal membrane oxygenation from france i have an experience dating around 12 to 15 years in critical care medicine my journey to baroda has been since last 2 years only uh, i have been working in pune with dinas mangeshkar hospital since last 10 years and i have joined baroda with tricolor hospitals and i feel privileged to be part of the critical care team set up over here see uh, there is uh, uh, awareness about critical care medicine as a branch in itself is extremely non existent to be very frank even in the medical community people don't understand what critical care medicine so thank you for asking me this question <laughs> uh, critical care medicine it's a branch where we deal with all the critical illnesses that each and every branch is faces so supposing you get a neurology patient patient has a stroke you need an observation in the icu you have a pneumonia and you have worsening where you require ventilator that's where it comes to the icu uh you have a surgery where in post operatively there is some problems you need an icu uh over the last 10 years what has been observed is ki initially uh, before 10 15 years these things were managed isolatedly by the physicians neurologists but as the branches evolved the quality of care used to suffer where in the physicians or the surgeons or the neurologists or the urologists or any further medical specialists were not able to totally dedicate themselves to this care which required extensive work on the side and give good care to the patients because physicians and doctors being busy a point of management was not possible so a period of time it has evolved in india it has evolved worldwide since last 25 years in india it has started evolving in last 10 years and in baroda we are seeing it since last 5 to 6 years where it is developing at brand in as branches so when i say critical care medicine it's an extension of all the branches of medicine and any patient in any branch who becomes ill to the extent that requires support systems or that all their systems needs to be monitored in an intensive care environment these are the patients which come to us in critical care medicine and in a layman language it's like coming to an icu and getting yourself monitored and treated with a specialist team of doctors who specialize in this branch i would say critical care medicine i say to each and every time we are the jokers of the pack you keep us in any game we are there to be one so what i do in critical care or what we do in critical care i start off first critical care is more of where we enter into picture any breathing difficulty wherein we need to support until the disease process heals up or blood pressure strain low where we need to support the blood pressures where in this so it's more of a invasive monitoring and invasive support of the system be it you call dialysis be it you call a ventilator support system or be it you call invasive blood pressure monitoring and all those stuff so for a period of time i keep on talking to the relatives and since uh, what i have felt a perception since last 10 years is the first question when i tell the patient needs to be kept in ventilator i see a depressed face of relative and they are always hesitant like oh god now my patient is going to be in ventilator and is he going to come out or is it the day end and is the doctor is just pulling on and sometimes बहुत बार ऐसा क्वेश्चन किया था ऐसा पेशेंट तो वेंटिलेटर पे लगा कि हमारा पेशेंट गिर भी नहीं रहा है डॉक्टर ने ऐसे ही लगा दिया है नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन मिसकंसेप्शन सो व्हेन आई से वेंटिलेटर सपोर्ट वेंटिलेटर सपोर्ट मींस दैट यू हैव अ ब्रीदिंग सिस्टम प्रॉब्लम वेयर इन यू आर नॉट एबल टू ब्रीथ एज कंपेयर टू व्हाट योर बॉडी नीड्स सो इन दैट वे इन दैट केस so as to prevent my patient to get exhausted during that procedure i need to support him with a ventilator it's like uh, i have a fracture i am not able to walk and i can't walk straight away right now i need a stretcher for some time so it's like carrying my leg and me on the stretcher so when i say i am put a ventilator it means that my lungs are not good enough to put up the requirements of the body 
So I now put my lungs on an artificial machine that is a ventilator and then help the body to deliver good amount of oxygen wherein I can maintain the supply side of the body and that helps in my patient's recovery. It's not a game changer per se. Game changer would be addressing or treating the basic disease. So it helps me find time to treat my disease. If I am not able to support the system, I won't be able to find time. So what I say is ventilators is like a support system wherein I buy time to treat a pneumonia or treat an infection or to treat an abdominal infection or for that matter any kind of thing. I just buy time and so that drugs work and once that drugs work, patient comes up. So when someone asks me the question, okay, ventilator pe laga diya hai, hai ya My question is, question should not be there. Question should be, is the disease treatable hmm. or not for which the patient requires ventilator? So your, for any layman coming to the doctor, I would just ask them to remember this. When someone says ki your patient needs a ventilator, don't ask ventilator mein se bahar hai ya Ask ki whether you are going to get treated out of this disease or not or whether the disease potential of treatment is there or not because that's where the confusion goes away if we know that the disease is not treatable then to do or not do that's all a subjective thing mm-hmm. so yes ventilator where patient bahar aate hai and many 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 amount of patients do come out thank you